Hey students, welcome to yet another interesting session. So in today's class, we will be discussing how to find the number of diagonals of a polygon. It's a very simple, very interesting topic. But before I start with this, and I hope everybody has joined the Telegram channel. If you haven't yet, please do join it. So many things we share over here, like the session PDFs, quizzes, session updates, of course, homework questions, Sunday Funday facts, and yes, revision questions. Do join it if you haven't yet. Link is there in the description. All right, for now, let's get started with our topic. So before we learn how to count the number or find the number of diagonals of a polygon, let's first understand what a diagonal is. So a diagonal is basically a line segment that connects two consecutive vertices, I mean non-consecutive vertices of the polygon. What does that mean? First, let's take a look at different polygons. Like we have this three-sided polygon here, there would be zero diagonals. Why? Here in this four-sided, there would be two diagonals because we are talking about connecting two non-consecutive ones. Here, all of them are consecutive. Consecutive means that coming one after the other. Here in this one, there are five diagonals and in this one, there are nine diagonals. Can you guess the number of diagonals in this one? Well, to answer this, let's first see the number of diagonals of a pentagon. This is a five-sided figure. This is a vertex of the pentagon. These two are the other vertices, but these are the consecutive vertices, right? So, now if I try to find out the diagonals from this vertex, because we only consider the non-consecutive ones, so non-consecutive ones are these ones, right? So, one, two, there are in all two diagonals from this vertex. All right. Now, if I consider another vertex, let's say this one. So, these are the, both of these are the consecutive ones. And now, these are the one and two. These are the non-consecutive vertices. So, if I join them here, we get two diagonals again. Now, let's consider another vertex, this one. These are the consecutive ones. So, we will not consider this. We only consider the non-consecutive ones. Now, over here again, two diagonals, but this has already been counted. So, we will not include this. This is going to be 1 this time. So, in all, you see 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. In all, it is 5. So, there are total 5 diagonals possible for this. So, here we could see a pattern. Earlier, there were 2 diagonals. Then again, 2 and then 1. So, number, it reduces after that. So, here we are including these as 2 terms. Just keep this in mind because later on we are, once we increase, um, I mean, once we talk about different, different polygons, this pattern over here is going to help us. All right, let's move ahead. Now we will check the number of diagonals for a hexagon. So this is a vertex and these are the two consecutive vertices, right? We won't count the diagonals from the consecutive ones, obviously. And we are considering the non-consecutive ones. Once I join this vertex to these three non-consecutive vertices, I get three diagonals, right? Now, let's consider another vertex. Let's say this one. Here, these are the two consecutive ones. We will not consider them. We will consider these three non-consecutive ones. So, again, there are one, two, three, three diagonals possible. Let's consider another vertex, this one. Again, these are the consecutive vertices. This will not be included. Now, again, I can see three diagonals, but this red one, you can see the one highlighted in red. This is already counted, right? So, actually, there are two diagonals. Now, let's Move ahead to this vertex from here again. These are the consecutive ones. And from here, three diagonals I can see out of these two are already counted, which are highlighted in red. So there is only one again. So in all, there are going to be nine diagonals for a hexagon. So what I see from here is first it was three, then three, then two, then one. In the previous one, it was two plus two plus one. You remember two terms at the end. Here it is three plus two plus one. So three terms. We are trying to observe and pattern over here. All right. So let's keep that in mind. Now, Let's talk about the number of diagonals for an n-sided polygon. We don't know how many sides the polygon has. So take a look at this. Let's suppose this is the vertex of the polygon. Now these are the consecutive ones. So we consider the non-consecutive ones. So on considering this, one, two, three, four. And this way, I don't know how many sides this polygon has, but definitely n minus three because these three will not be considered. So n minus three number of diagonals in the first case. Similarly, if I consider this vertex, so these are the consecutive ones. Let's not consider it. Now, these are the possible ones, 1, 2, 3, and so on, n minus 4 and n minus 3, correct? Because every time one number is reducing, so it's going to be n minus 3 again. Now, moving ahead, again, if I consider this vertex, these are the consecutive ones. From here, these are the diagonals that can be formed. Red one is, has already been occurred. I'll not include that. That's going to be n minus 4 then, right? This way. Similarly, if I consider this vertex, again, these are the consecutive ones. Now, let's count the diagonals from here. So, again, now this is going to be, red ones are already counted. This is going to be n minus 5. And this way, if you keep doing that, the number at last comes to 1. So, what we could see from here is, initially, it was n minus 3, n minus 3. Again, both of them were same. And after that, it is reducing with number 1, right? At last, it goes to 1. 
So till here, how many terms are there? If you start from 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on like that, it ends at n minus 3. n minus 3 terms are there. Keep the number of terms in your mind. Now using this, we will be counting the number of diagonals for an n-sided polygon. So this is the actual expression that we got in the previous slide. Now I'm just reshuffling this. So this n minus 3 remains as it is plus and I'm writing this in the order starting from 1 to n minus 3. I'm just reversing the order. So if I add these two up, these two equations up, what I'm going to get? n plus n is going to be 2n. We are basically deriving it. n minus 3, n minus 3. If you add them up, that's going to be twice of n minus 3. Right? Now here n minus 3 plus 1. n minus 3, we are picking up two, two terms every time. That's going to be n minus 2, which is here. Then n minus 4 plus 2. That's going to be n minus 2, which is here n minus 5 plus 3, that's going to be n minus 2 in a similar way. Dot, 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 3 plus n minus 5. Again, that's going to be n minus 2. You can see that. Similarly, you keep picking up numbers. Every time we are getting n minus 2, n minus 2, n minus 2. But if you see, how many times are we going to get n minus 2? The series, it is started from 1 up to n minus 3. So obviously, it's going to be n minus 3 number of times. So this is coming as it is 2n equals to 2 times n minus 3 plus this is coming n minus 3 number of times. So n minus 3 times n minus 2. Let's write this here. Here if I take n minus 3 common, I'll have 2 plus n minus 2 because 2 will come in the bracket plus sign as it is and n minus 2 in the bracket. On simplifying, we get n equals to n times n minus 3 by 2. It's a very simple one, right? Because this 2, if you take this to the other side, what will happen? n would be equals to n minus 3 in the denominator I have got 2 and here in the bracket we have got n minus 2 plus 2. This and this will get cancelled out. So here is the result. This is for formula for the number of diagonals for an n-sided polygon. So instead of just learning the formulas here we have seen how is it actually derived. Alright, so now let's apply this formula that we have just got to find the number of diagonals here. It's an n-sided, 8-sided uh, figure. So instead of n, I'm just going to put 8 in the formula. It's going to be 8 times 5 by 2. That's 40 by 2. That means 20. 20 diagonals are possible in this case. Very simple one. So if you have any confusions, any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section below. And do hit the like button if you feel that these sessions are actually helpful. Share it in your school groups with your friends. And do subscribe the channel if you haven't yet. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.